if there was no LaMelo, Lonzo would simply be getting more criticism. Let's go back to three and a half years ago. Zo, a 6'6 point guard, had all the intangibles to become a franchise starting point guard. Even all time great expectations, breathtaking to watch at UCLA, made everybody better, even got teammate TJ Leaf drafted, was talked about as a potential number one pick, the most hyped college player at the time, drew comparisons to the likes of Jason Kidd and even Magic Johnson. So far, he's more like Ricky Rubio, picked up by his hometown team, the Lakers. High expectations, felt the pressure, although he's poised, doesn't say much. Big Mouth LaVar made all these ridiculous claims, saying he's already better than Steph Curry. Hyped himself up with the big baller brand, where his sons walked away from later on, right away. After Pat Beverly gave Lonzo a taste of his own medicine, held to a 3.1 of 6 shooting debut 29 minutes, but bounced back, a monster second game, the best of his rookie season, 29 points. 11 rebounds, 9 assists versus the Suns near triple double, but went on a slump. Next four games put up under single digits, 10 of 41 combined shooting, wasn't fully ready, even labeled a bust. Lonzo shot 55% at UCLA. The numbers simply didn't translate. Jump shot very odd and ugly looking, couldn't finish around the rim against bigger guys. Teams dared him to shoot and still viewed as an offensive liability. Missed 30 games due to shoulder and knee injuries, more negative than positives. The good takeaways were him becoming the youngest in history at the time to record a triple double November 11 20 years and 15 days 19 12 and 12 against the Jason Kidd coach Bucks team when asked about the comparison Kidd said it's too early to make that call he has to understand what it means to play hard what it means to win and help to win at the highest level and it takes time in three years hopefully there's a better comparison but right now it's a stretch and he has a ways to go three years later it's still a big stretch ball nowhere near an all-star caliber player Player, finished his rookie year averaging 10 points, 7 and 7, nearly a block, shot an ugly 36% from the field, but his defense and activity solid did all the little things, but badly lacked the jump shot, still ended up making all rookie second team. The first teamers, teammate Kyle Kuzma, Larry Marketing, D. Mitch, Ben Simmons, and JT, while Lamelo has been sensational to watch, a young stud who's played against older kids all his life, played against high school kids in the fifth grade, already got plenty of attention since he was 12 years old. The Ball brothers played together thanks to LeVar, put his boys on notice for years. Melo already drew attention from D1 recruits before finishing 8th grade, just 5'8 before high school, had the confidence early on, getting tough competition from the start, was preparing for the NBA all along since middle school, established and fought through mental toughness from the start. After playing against older and much bigger kids, you have to be tough to continue playing with the big boys. Many kids wouldn't be able to handle that type of competition early on, getting taunted by the older guys and fighting back and getting better. Most NBA players growing up were the best players in their neighborhoods, AAU teams, high school, college, and treated like gods before stepping foot in the very big leagues because they were so much more gifted than everybody else and doesn't have to face tough adversity. But when they play in the NBA, some of these talented guys don't know how to respond, playing guys just as talented if not better than them. That's why some lottery picks who thinks they're the best ends up being a disappointment. But Melo, thanks to LeVar's vision, got a head start as prepared as any teenager prior to entering the NBA outside of Luka Doncic. We've seen a couple nice times in spectacular plays in Australia, shut down early to guarantee himself a top 5 pick. If Melo went to college, there'd be no doubt he would dominate all headlines at the NCAA, get all the attention, likely would have gone one if that was the case. Despite Lonzo being in a way better draft class with better talent, both put up very similar numbers in the efficient shooting numbers, but does everything else from rebounding to passing, Lamelo arguably a better outside shooter already. First 13 games of their careers, Lonzo under 10 points for a young Lakers team, 7-7, seven and seven, 33 and a half minutes played, starting every one of those games, but an ugly 31% shooting, 25 from 3, had too many flaws, wasn't even close to being near the top of his rookie class with the likes of D. Mitch and JT. Melo's numbers. 12, 7, and 6, 1 and a half steals, just 25 minutes of action, 40 from the field, 33 from 3, not bad for a rookie, plus coming off the bench, number 1 in the rookie rankings, already affecting Charlotte's ability to win and making all the guys better from the alley-oops to Miles Bridges, the Hornets about 500, a way better pace than last season's 23 and 42 mark, leading his team in rebounding at this point, became the youngest player in history to record a triple-double against Atlanta, 22, 12, and 11, just as good a passer as his older brother, a better rebounder too. Although Lonzo's defense was better at this stage,
stage of his career. Many criticize Lamelo's D, but many rookies aren't great on D coming into the league. The fact that Melo's a 6'8 point guard shouldn't be an issue guarding other guys. He's not small like a Trey Young, who will always be a liability on D. Both ball brothers very inconsistent at this point, but Lamelo more optimism. While Lonzo had the luxury to play with LeBron in year two, in many ways slowed him down as a ball handler and playmaker. LeBron was running the show, so couldn't shoot, often got benched by Luke Walton, got his confidence derailed, was a disaster off the ball. Average under 10 points, 5-5, five five, but the full 12 games without LeBron, ball average 13, 6, and 7, shot 39 from 3, much better, then sprained his ankle against Houston, missing the remainder of the season. The last game he played with James on Christmas Day of 2018, a disappointing ending, but showed optimism. In year 3, Zo traded to the Pelicans in that Anthony Davis package. Guys like Tatum, Mitchell, and Adebayo were proven all-stars. Lonzo still stuck as an average player, still has to prove himself to get rid of the bus label, was supposed to be an all-star caliber player, or at least make a leap. Teammate Brandon Ingram took his game to the next level. Heck, even Alvin Gentry benched Lonzo a few games. New Orleans struggled even with Zion on the floor. Lonzo averaged under 12 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists, 40% shooting, much improved, 37.5 from 3. The biggest absolute travesty of his game, the terrible free throw shooting, from 45% worse than Rajon Rondo and Ben Simmons, to Ben Wallace numbers, under 42% in year 2, to just 56, disgusting numbers for a point guard, it should be illegal for any point guard to shoot so terribly from the line, the heck of Shaq might just turn into the heck of Lonzo in the future, I'm sure Father LeVar can shoot better from the line than that, while Melo around 70% right now, numbers Lonzo might never reach sadly, Lonzo despite making spectacular laps and outlet passes, still struggles finishing around the rim, blows too many layups, which makes him a huge liability at times. New Orleans, supposed to be a quality team, stinked at all levels last season. Lonzo continued to pass up on open jumpers, wasn't anywhere near one of the top players on the roster. During the last five games, Lonzo played the best basketball of his career, averaged 21, 8, and 8 over 2 steals, shot over 53% from the field, 51 from 3, 36 minutes of action, looked like the player he was supposed to be all along. But the four months layoff, Bubba Lonzo was an absolute absolute travesty, went back to his old ways, not counting his last game where his team was already eliminated, 5.7 points, 5.3 rebounds, 7 dimes, 26% from the field, 19 from 3, went from an all-star level stretch to the worst stretch of his career, unexcusable, especially the fact that the NBA wanted New Orleans to be in the playoffs badly, allowing 8 regular season games where they barely had a chance in the first place, the whole team should be ashamed by their lackluster performance, just watching his younger brother before the NBA, Zoe is nowhere near as good finishing around the basket as Melo, doesn't go straight up with it, a non-existent mid-range game which makes him even more predictable for defenses, his lack of confidence very concerning, teammate JJ Redick urges Lonzo to shoot more, hasn't found that consistency yet in the league, Lonzo should be thanking Melo that the NBA has kind of forgotten about him and his disappointing start to his career and shifting all the focus on the youngest brother, Lonzo being the most hyped prospect in his class isn't even top 10 right now, guys who's made more of an impact. Tatum, Mitchell, Adebayo, John Collins, De'Aaron Fox, Larry Markkinen, former teammate Kuzma even. Many would even take 22nd, 23rd, and 29th pick Jared Allen, OG Ananobi, and Derek White over Lonzo right now. Even Markel Fultz was showing more promise before his ACL tear. It's not fair to call Lonzo a bust yet being only 23 years old, but he is absolutely in the category as it stands with the Ricky Rubios and the Alfred Paytons of the world. Not reliable enough to play crunch time minutes guys who not only can't shoot but break open shots also being injury prone nine games into the 2021 season 12.4 points four and four still 39 percent from the field 32 from three battling with a knee injury given all the expectations to become one of the best players given the little improvements lonzo not even a top 10 point guard in the west right now young studs and De'Aaron fox way better john Morant and shea gilgis alexander also already better even tyrese halliburton 10 games for sacramento into the season looks better than Lonzo. From looking overwhelmed his very first NBA game, Lonzo still has yet to find his identity. Being hesitant, I don't ever see Lonzo being an all-star type player, but a starter and an average point guard at best given his liabilities. In his first head-to-head -head matchup with Lamelo. The younger brothers team won, Melo 12, 10, and 9 in 26 minutes, while Zo a lackluster 5, 2, and 3. Lonzo also got destroyed by De'Aaron Fox a few times, has yet to respond, showing he can stand his ground. At this very moment, 19-year-old Lamelo Ball is better than 23-year-old Lonzo Ball. Just which places? 
Lonzo wouldn't be in the Hornets rotation much, while LaMelo with Zion would draw more attention. Lonzo has become an afterthought for the Pelicans. Melo has better handles, more confidence, a better demeanor, fearless. Lonzo, too passive at times, better athleticism, but doesn't use his athletic ability to finish around the rim and appears to be scared of contact, perhaps because he's such a bad free throw shooter. Melo also the taller brother, more benefits, and already plays like a vet given his deep experience already. Given everything we know as of January 2021, LaMelo Ball has been better in bigger moments, more brash, and embraces how good he is. Lonzo barely talks and his game sometimes barely makes an impact. Melo from pulling up half court early in high school, scored 92 in a game, dominated in the ABL against grown men. His flaws on defense easily more fixable than Lonzo's flaws in too many areas on the floor. Melo's weaknesses in shooting, already looking better than his older brother Lonzo, has more potential, better size, more assertive. If he can stay healthy, LaMelo can be an all-star in two years. While Zo at this point, many still pray he can just turn out to be a decent player, will likely never become an all-star. Plus, being only 19 years old, there's still a possibility LaMelo maybe grow another inch, he can end up being the same height as Magic Johnson. There you have it, LaMelo Ball, not even a month into his rookie season, has already shown he's better than older brother Lonzo Ball.